Welcome back. It's still Plus Politics for um, looking at this issue. Still on the belief expressed by Maman Daura, the president's nephew, the two major political parties have also voiced their rejection of Daura's call. Representative of the parties stated that this is the opinion of Daura and said that at the appropriate time, the party will sit and do its zoning arrangement, just like any other party. Many political pundits have expressed their disapproval of the statement made by Daura. But what are the Northerners saying? Joining us to discuss this is Yerima Shetima, the president of the Arewa Youth Consultative Forum. Good evening, Yerima. Good evening, Mr. Kaudi. How are you? Yeah, uh, let me believe that you were able to listen to the president general of uh, Oaneza Indigbo. Were you able to do that? Yes, I do. Good. Let's get started. I made an allusion to one of your statements that you made uh, as a group where you said that uh, the North has, is not done yet. Can you shed more light on that? Yeah, well, uh, that was my initial position. But as it went to hope, where some of us said strongly that this issue of zoning was what took us where we are today. Some of us take our positions, and if you weigh, you read my story lately, I keep hampering, emphasizing on competency. Before even the other come out to talk about competency, I think I was the first to do that. And we insist that competency should take the order of the day. The arrangement of learning is what takes us to where we are today, and we will not allow ourselves to go back to that again. We will resist any attempt by any party zoning any president to any angle, what the party should do to look at competency, display everything on the table, let people come and exhibit their talent, display, let Nigeria decide who they want, who they think is the right person. The person can come from any part of the country. We are not bothered about where he comes from. But where an issue came up, people sit down as an individual or as a group, and you see that this power must be to your stone. That will resist, will vehemently kick against it, so that things will be normal. Okay. We won't go back to where we will come Yerima, back. Yerima, yes. I'm happy you listen to him. So this is definitely not just my opinion. But how do we justify these? Why should it be at this time? Uh, uh, let's even look away from Nigeria. You remember the story of America how mm. the blacks felt a sense of belonging when Obama became president. So why should it be now that uh, somebody is touting competency? Does it mean that it is when a, a, a particular zone seems to be favored that we should be streamlining into competency alone? What is favored about it? We are, we, are, we are running a constitutional democracy where number, majority, take the day. So we are saying people should come out democratically and do what they do. Obama did not just get to that position because he was a black. People, the whites themselves, key behind him, they supported him before he becomes a president. So Yerima, it was not zone or Yerima, sorry for cutting in. Sorry for yes. cutting in. That also brings me to what happened in '99. The Northerners voted for Basojo. They didn't even show so much uh, interest in being the president. So why should you now play on the number of majority, which definitely did not have? At that, at that time, don't forget vividly, we are just coming out from military dictatorship. When things were almost going down completely, some of us were on the trenches at that time. I was not told because I was on that struggle. We know what we did, we know how far we've gone, we lose some of our comrades. Some of us were incarcerated during the dark days. We suffered, and some of us, life has not been saved after then. As I speak with you today, I am living witness to some of this event at that time because I was part of it. Today, as it is, the story has changed. The narrative has changed. This zone was what takes us to where we are today. Don't forget, two months ago, I was one of the strongest voices in the North that insists that power must remain in the North. If I have everything and I change my mind, mindset and I believe strongly, everybody agrees that we should look for competency. The competency can come from Southeast. The Southeast should bring their best level. 
The south south should come up with their best level. Southwest should come with their best level. The northwest should come with their best level, not east best level. Then not central best yeah, level. Then at that we can decide. Yeah, but I, where people, I think I'm here to be understood. From other part of the country, okay. insisting that power must go to their region, we will resist it. Yerima, I, I, this is democracy. I want to be well understood. When I meant that in 1999, which, for record, you were part of the struggle, yes. then you wouldn't tell me that competency was not on the table. The likes of Abiola probably was also favored because it's believed that he has the competency that you also talked about. So are we saying that the concept of competency is a new word? Don't forget that during the 1993 election, Abiola won the election based on competency and acceptability by all Nigerians. Okay. It was not shown to say that the power was going to Southwest. He contested against the Northern Sun okay. and won even in the constituency of that Northern Sun in Kano against Bashir Tofa. Tofa. It wasn't about zoning. After then, that election was one of the most serious and fairest elections ever that we have done in this country. And after the announcement of that election, we never got it right again. Until subsequent election, Obasanjo came up, so many things came up, and so on and so forth, until we get to where we are. On this zoning arrangement was where we found ourselves again today. You and I will agree that all is not well. People are fixed in the wrong place at the wrong time. And this is the result of it. We have young, vibrant people. If you talk of intelligence, we have good people. In terms of intelligence, we have technocrats. We have professionals. Those are the people that we're looking up to. Not conventional people who believe it is their right to remain in politics. Anybody can come this time around. We'll look at competency and capacity. We'll play a little role. But, but uh, 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 Shatima, as much as uh, your argument sounds quite logical, but let's look at the psyche, the feeling that, oh, we are part of Nigeria. We know some terrible rhetorics that had gone in the past where people, will, they would tell people you will never taste power. So I, not, it is obvious that you believe that competent and we have them in the Southeast. So why don't we just let them have, pardon my language, have a bite of what it feels to be in charge. So that, that's, not the, that's, not, that's not democracy. You are saying that you just fold our hand from the north and say, no, let the South East produce anybody, anyhow. Let them come now if they have it. Nigeria will judge. Nigeria will adjourn it and know which one is better. And they will go to vote. Whoever have the highest number, Take over. That's how it's done democratically. Shatima, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Democracy. That's not what I'm saying. What if it's true democracy? <laughs> that, that's, that's exactly not what I'm saying. Let me explain what I meant. In 1999, yes. we didn't yes. just have two candidates from the Southwest. There were also candidates, the likes of, uh, 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 I'm trying to remember, Abu Bakarimi tried to be president from the North. We had mm. people who made the attempt to be president, and the Northerners definitely voted massively for a Southwesterner. I'm just saying stop, stop. that uh, democracy day. will still be at Kyle work. Day. But you the know. The case of 1999 is different from what is of today. In 1999, there was an alignment of June 1st. There was a need to appease the Southwest at that time. So it was unanimous to agree, resolve under the supervise of the military. What about 2007? To go to the Southwest to appease the Southwest. What about? Because there was an election won by Chibem Abiola, and that election was annulled, and the Southwest actually stood their ground, and they fought for it. Not only them, in Nigeria, some of us participated in that June 12th struggle to ensure that, at that time, power must go to the Southwest. Shatima. To appease the Southwest. Shatima. Having annulled that election, won by their own son. Shatima, After then, was there any story that looks similarly to that event of 1999 from that day to today? No. Yerima, Yerima, what about 2007? In 2007, we had a Buhari contesting against Yaradua. It was the Northern Affair. The South had had eight years. 
I followed you. I remember your argument, which you have actually, actually dropped now. So I'm just saying, just like the whole of South knows that it is time for the North to come back. So why don't we also do that kind of arrangement? I'm just saying, talking about the political interest now. Uh, there are actually one simple question. Are we running a constitutional democracy? Yes. The yes, we do. And if we do, fine. Let us go and demonstrate that this is exactly what we're into. If we, in another part of the country, will consider the fact that Tony is not favorable and it's not constitutional, then there's no reason to do it. It's an agreement by the political party. That's their arrangement. And where I say no, it's not binding on Nigeria. Nigerians are true owners of the land. And the sovereignty of this country belongs to the people, not the political party. So the people will have to decide, and the people have decided okay. that the only arrangement does not pay. And we are saying competency is what we stood for. We will ensure that that come to play. We will mobilize, we will form a national movement, national platform, where all Nigerians, it will be all inclusive, and we will take the decision at the right time. Okay. So yeah. rest that job. This arrangement will not work anymore. This zoning arrangement, no. It's dead on arrival. Anybody who thinks it will work, it will not work. And we cannot be blackmailed or intimidated by anybody. I, I agree that uh, blackmail should not come in. But can I also put you on the spot? Will you, in your whatever decision, vote for a southeast person if you feel the person is competent? I will. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I will. I will vote for him. Okay, good. Wherever he comes from. And what, what would be the definition of competence? Well, when I talk about competence, one we should assess the level of intelligence, experience of somebody, and also his experience. Those will come to me. And above all, age, we will consider age-wise too. Never again we will allow people over it to come to the game. If they do, we will ensure that our vote never goes to them. So it is a better remain as an adversary and allow young, vibrant people that we have across the board. We have them in the South East, we have them in the North, we have them in the South West and everywhere. Thank you so much, Yerima Shatima. You are the president. He is the president of um, Arewa is it Arawa Youth Consultative Forum? Thank you for your time. We quite appreciate it. And to our viewers, thank you for staying with us. We'll take another short break. And when we return, I will be giving you my take. Please don't go anywhere. And here is my take. Probably this perhaps might be the hardest issues to express my opinion because of the sensitive nature of the topic. However, I will try to voice my mind on the discourse. Are the Southwest better for it when their son, Olusha Gobasajo, was the president of Nigeria, both as a military head of state and civilian leader? Was the South South better for it when their son, Good Luck Jonathan, was the president? Did their adult state get the federal rules in their area fixed when their sons, Tony Aneni and Onona Leme, were the ministers of works? Was Second Niger Bridge fixed when sons and daughters from the southeast were at the helm of affairs? Has it not been a government of Padi Padi like in our local parlance, where these leaders are disconnected from the sovereign masses? I agree for the sake of all inclusiveness, every ethnic nationality must be allowed to gain ascendancy into presidency and not to have a bite of the national cake. Therefore, wherever the pendulum will swing come 2023, let us bear in mind that equity and justice will be our guide while not relegating competence and efficiency to the background. And that is my take. I remain yours truly. Let's return to Plus Politics tomorrow. I remain yours sincerely. Kayode Ladeinde saying bye.